Today, let's take a look at building this lap desk or TV tray, however you want to configure it, suitable for RVing or even your improvised home office during uncertain times or certain times. Stick around. Okay, this is a lap desk, I guess. If you have the clipboard on it, you could take that off, make a TV tray out of it. It's all made from one sheet of uh, three-quarter inch sanded plywood, two foot by four foot sheet. I cut the legs off of the end of it, so they're two and a half inch strips. I cut six of those to cut to do the legs. And then I just kind of cut them to the length I needed after that. And for my wife, it was 21 inches for the vertical leg. Because you measure from the floor to one inch above their knees, their legs, whatever, sticking up on the, the chair, the couch, and so you can custom fit it. The couch was this, the best place for her back while she's working from home, so that's what we did. And it, it manages to slip around the couch like this, and then you can uh, you know, have it come right up to the couch. So you have a desk that's in your lap but not on your lap. You don't have the weight of it there, but you have the convenience of it. And there it is. You got the the laptop on it, and all that. So the vertical legs are a simple L piece, the two and a half inch stuck together to make it an L. And then you have um, this on there with a piano hinge or continuous hinge, whatever, and a clip on top. And I'll give you the link for that clip too. And that's a 15 degree bevel that I put on there so that it will actually, you know, lean back and not tip over while you're trying to work. And then it all folds up nice and neat. And like you can see the uh, L shape there so that it goes on. And then there's a, a second piece added right there for the upper hinge to go into. That keeps the hinge up high enough that the, the top will close up right against the leg and not be, you know, an odd setup or anything. It fits really nice. And I rounded that edge there so that it would go around and not dig a tattoo in the back of the top. But uh, it's all simple stuff. You could do it, you know, with a handsaw, with a circular saw, a jigsaw, and a screwdriver, and some glue. And you'd have it all done. And some sandpaper. You know, it's, it's not that tough a build. And, and it goes together real well. And it all folds up and goes against the wall. And it's real convenient. There you go. That's it.